All right. A woman my height. All right. Is this a woman colon my height or a woman my height? All right. Dear Mr. Burr, saw you at the Bon Scott gig at the start of the pandemic. That's the last gig I did. That's the last time I did stand up. Uh, and really understood how a world class comic uh, does it. Thanks for the laughs. Yeah, I had a, I had fun. Thank God I had a good set. Anyway, he goes. I'm a six three, two hundred thirty five pound man. Oh, there you go. Playoff Stanley Cup size right there. That man will keep things settled down on the ice there. And have dated or hooked up with women with heights ranging from five three to five nine. I've also hooked up with one woman, with two one or two women who were five eleven. I've recently met an incredible seeming, incredible seeming woman on a dating app. We've spoken over the phone, uh, message a lot, and are getting along wonderfully. Okay, where could this go wrong? We're being hesitant on hanging out because of the pandemic, but might do a sort of social distance date if we both test negative. You know, my my wife, my smoking hot wife was actually saying the other day, she said, is the COVID test the new AIDS test? Because back in the day when we were coming out, that was a big thing. Have you been tested? Um, all right. Judging by her photos and her social media accounts, she's plenty beautiful. The only thing is she's 6'2". I'm open to trying something different and even excited by the idea. Yeah, who the fuck would want a giant woman? <laughs> That'd be fucking great. I wouldn't have a problem with that. Uh, But I'm worried that I might do or say something that is rude to her unique life experience. I'm also a bit nervous because all of my cool guy moves and swagger have been in some way shaped by the fact that I typically tower over girls. Sir, this is great. This is a great thing. She's going to get you outside your comfort zone before all you women start fucking chirping. Like you don't have a type either. Okay. Like you don't have your little safety fucking zone. Um, I think it'd be funny. If she's not wearing heels, you could call her shorty, uh, but just something she probably never had. She's going to be so psyched that you're six, three, you know what I mean? That she finally is going to be, uh, you know, I don't know. You guys are roughly the same. But can you imagine her back in the day dating like a guy five foot six and she wants to be held and feel safe? You know what I mean? And he's hanging on to her like a fucking one of those creepy toddlers that breastfeeds too long. (laughs) By the way, I got to look that up. I don't give a fuck at this point. Um, That's going to be my excuse when the feds come in. Uh, we'd like to talk to you about your search and hey, do a podcast with no guests. What the fuck am I supposed to do here? At what age is it creepy to still breastfeed? Oh, man, they got to do this on uh, Steve Harvey's show there, The Family Feud. The Mayo Clinic website states that children are weaned off on an average between ages two and four. <laughs> What the fuck? You Listen, nobody remembers ha- what happens to them when they're three. You can't remember. You do not need to remember hanging on your mom's boob. You don't want to do that. And in some culture, extended breastfeeding continues for a couple of years past that. While the American Academy of Family Physicians recommends breastfeeding past infancy and gradually weaning off at no precise age. All right, here's a great article. Breastfeeding a three and a half year old isn't creepy. It's hilarious. Uh, I was on the couch feeding my newborn second child when her oldest sibling snuggled up close and asked, Mama, can I have some too? She's almost four. Uh, I don't want to read this. Uh. Oh my God. Gross. I'm just reading the dialogue. She can't say milk. She can only say Mao. Can I have some Mao? And she goes, Mao is for babies. The kid said, please, just a teeny sip. She said, no. Hey, no means no, you little shit. Get away from her tits. She burst into tears. Dismayed, we were back here again after a long, arduous weaning process. 
She didn't self-wean as I expected. And in around a year, uh, 15 months, 18 months or two, I thought, oh, I, she didn't wean as I expected around a year, 15 months, 18 months or two. I thought of my own mother's claim that I self-weaned at eight months in our conversations surrounding my extended breastfeeding. Going to let her breastfeed till she goes to co- college, she chided. I said her frozen baggies of milk are in a care pack. I don't want to read this. I don't want to read this. You know what? I don't feel comfortable reading this. I, I, I apologize for looking that up and putting that shit in your fucking... Oh, my God. All right. Anyways, yeah, she's going to get you outside your comfort zone. Uh, all right. This is a strange new world for me, to be frank. Um, I did some research on my particular situation to no avail. I did, however, read that sex and basically everyday interactions are better with the partner close to, closer to one's height. Any thoughts, opinions, insights, or advice would be great. Yeah, hey, uh, you know what I say, buddy? Dive in. Dive in and have fun. She seems wonderful. You know, the fact that you guys, you know, meeting someone during a pandemic, you actually have to take the time to kind of get to know them a little bit, right? So you don't rush into anything. Um, and you don't hang around for the convenience of someone to, to, so you're not lonely or the sex or whatever. So I think this is a good thing. I think you should definitely do it. And, um, you know, that'd be fucking hilarious though. If she, uh, I don't want to get involved in it cause you might fall in love with this girl, but there's certain positions that you'll then have to fucking figure out because she's, you know, not super short, you know, much shorter than you. You know what I mean? Maybe you'll have to stand on something if she's in a certain position wearing high heels. <laughs> Fucking like six, seven. You know what's great, though, is no one's going to fuck with your kids. All right, best wishes to you and your growing family. Go fuck yourself. All right. Good luck, sir.